Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome to another Mod Spotlight of mine. So you're probably thinking, I've got a minute, did you just upload this? <laughs> well I did, uh, and I've decided to redo it because I feel that like I didn't do the mod justice in my last review. Uh, well, not review, but Spotlight. So, here we go again. Hopefully I'll get everything right this time. And uh, I made a couple of stupid mistakes. I, I, wasn't, I was a bit under the weather, excuses and excuses. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So... Uh, this is the Arcane Ascension mod, and I I've had a good play around with this, obviously. You know, this is my second uh, attempt on it now, and it's it's very good. I like it. So the first thing you'll notice when you install this mod, well, the first thing you want to start looking for is one of these islands. So let's take a look at this. So you get floating islands like this, and they have a unique feature, which is the trees, as you'll see. This is the only place that these trees will naturally spawn and uh, yeah, they they tend to spawn over ocean biomes, I've found in my experience. Uh, so here we go, we're going to get up here and we're going to show you what else is involved in this mod and what the trees are all about. Oh, and of course these flowers. So, first things first are the ores. You always start with the ores. So we've got uh, Imperium Ore, which is basically this one when it's mined. Then we've got uh, uh, Promethium Ore, which is this and you also get it in the nether as well now it spawns more in the nether than it does uh, in the overworld and that's what that looks like uh, then you've got your adamantium which is this one just like a regular iron ore or something like that and then you've got your tree stone which is, looks like this which has got an interesting property it basically has traces of different items in them and it'll Come to light what I mean in a moment. So, uh, one of the main things that are in this mod is the Prometheus Chamber, which is this thing here. I've actually got, oh, I've already got some stuff in there. We'll just ignore that for the moment. Uh, which will only work with the Promethean Embers, and uh, it won't use coal. So, the thing that I forgot last time was how to make one of these. <laughs> and I did actually have it all set up. Derpy derp. So here we go, this is how you make one of these chambers. You need Four gold ingots, four obsidian, and this, which is the Imperium Core. Now, to make one of these, you need four Promethean Embers, four Redstone, and Imperium Pargon. And that will give you four of these bad boys. Now, these things are dangerous. I can't believe I forgot this last time I did the video. Jeez, this is loads of fun. I'm going to come over here to show you how dangerous these are. So let's fly up here. I'm just going to throw one by right-clicking at the floor. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, quite a bit of lag. And that's exposed a huge hole in the floor. And yeah, that's uh, that's that stuff right there. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, that's, that's devastating stuff. You don't want to be messing around with that too much. Uh, so yeah, let's put that away before I break anything. So there you go again, that's the recipe. You just need one of those in the middle, which will give you the chamber. Now the chamber, has a few different uses. I'm just going to show you with the coal and some of this tray stone uh, that coal has no effect, it doesn't do anything. So, there you go. You have to use this stuff. And here we are. Let's, in fact, let's get a few of these and a few of these. Put those in there and put one in there. So, in goes your, your embers and the tray stone will start to smell. And out the other end, we should get a random item. And basically, let's take these out so we can see for sure what we're getting. There we go. We got we actually got some adamantium uh, an adamantium ingot there, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, so basically, the tree stone has traces of items in it. That's that's the law behind it. And uh, as you smelt it, you get something out of it. So we're getting all sorts of random stuff here. As you can see, I've got some random stuff here like redstone and coal as well and you even get Promethean embers from it which is great you know you can kind of get the stuff back that you put in uh, and it burns a lot longer than coal wood as well so there you go you can see that working away so let's take that out and of course the only way you can smelt this adamantium ore is of course in this Prometheus chamber so in goes there and you can see it's cooking away nice and happily and out pops an ingot so there we go okay so this has another property 
which leads us on to the next thing that's part of this mod is this flower here. I'm just going to go and pick this up. Right, so these flowers, let's get over here, will only grow around where Imperium is. So let's just, uh, yeah, there we go. We'll grab one of them. They're called the Heaven Bloom. So basically, under the ground, there will be some of this somewhere down there. So you see over here a moment ago when I blew up the ground, there was a couple of those flowers growing right there where those two were. And these these ones I've planted myself, so there's no point me going mining. <laughs> but that's how they work. But they also have another use, these. Uh, you want to farm them up. Uh, the mod maker is going to give them the ability soon in another update that uh, if you have them, say, planted out your front door, they will actually repel mobs. So they're going to have a pretty good use. But not only that, they can actually repair items. Now, for the moment, there is a bug and it's not working. But this is how you do it. You put your flower in the bottom and you damaged... Um, armor which we'll have a look at at the moment so we've got the ascendant gauntlet there uh, it would actually repair it and it will be addressed soon um, so there's another good reason for being able to repair your items and that's because there's different tiers and as you can see this is a tier 3 um, and you need the previous tier to upgrade to the next tier so we're going to have a look at that in a moment but first we're going to check out the trees and some of the um, other items so the trees, the glimmerwood trees <laughs> which quite nicely let's bring up my control panel glow in the dark look at that so if you're hunting around for one of these islands this this one actually took me quite a while to find this island you, you're you gonna spot it you're gonna see these glowing trees on the top of it so okay uh, this tree obviously drops glimmer wood which you can turn into glimmer planks uh, sorry glimmer wood planks and it also the glimmer wood sticks which have an important role and of course you can get glimmer wood leaves and saplings and the saplings you can take home with you uh, like i said earlier these trees will only naturally spawn on these islands so once you've got yourself a, a whole collection of saplings you're rocking you're ready to go so here are here are the tools so we've got adamantium pickaxe and here's the recipe for it and of course you need the glimmer wood sticks and your adamantium ingots so these are not quite just like uh, normal items, these have a few different abilities. Uh, this is uh, the equivalent of gold and has 1600 uses. Uh, so that's it's pretty good, it's, it's fast. Uh, and then you've got uh, an enchanted one. So the only difference with this is it's got an Imperium Paragon. Paragon. So people were stressing about my pronunciations. Imperium Paragon. <laughs> I'm saying Paragon, got it wrong, okay, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, so there's the enchanted one. Now this is a little bit different than the previous one. Uh, this essentially has silk touch, so I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, again, it's got the same properties of gold, uh, but it has a durability of 2,400 uses, so that's pretty damn good. Now, the way this works is, let's go over here. Uh, oh, bloody rain. Go away. Right. So... Uh, the way this works is, you can mine as normal, like, oh, I'm in bloody creative mode, aren't I? Uh -huh. Div. Let's jump out of creative. Uh, oh, I've just gone right past it. There we go. Okay, so you can mine as normal, like so. But you can also uh, right-click, and it has the same effect as Silk Touch. So let's right-click this block, and pop. Should have gone into my inventory, so it's probably gone into this stack. And that, that is fantastic. Uh, the only downside to doing that is it'll use 10. 10 of its uses. But, of course, you can repair these items with the, the flowers. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like that. Uh, oh, that's a sword. Let's put that back in there. Now we're on to the adamantium sword. Which is fairly uneventful. It uh, does... Five hearts of damage, which is fairly good, uh, and it has 1600 uses. And then we've got uh, the Glimmerwood bow, so it'll it ha it'll last you a lot longer than the normal bow, and uh, it does more damage. And he also plans to add in um, that it'll do like like a what do you call it now? A homing arrow. It, uh, basically, it'll have a homing arrow. It's not written into the code just yet, but it will be in the future. So, you know, basically, you shoot at a creeper that's miles away and it's walking about. The arrow will, you know, turn 
in effect and uh, and hit the creeper. So that's going to be a nice little addition to the to the mod. All right, so now we can move on uh, to the gauntlets and the army you can make with all this stuff. So we've got the ascendant gauntlets tier one. So there's three tiers of these. There's actually um, well, it gets a little different. It's not essentially a tier for the first lot, but there is for the rest. I'll show you in a moment. You'll understand what I mean. So, the Ascendant Gauntlet. Tier 1 has a few different uses, which is fantastic. You can use it as a pickaxe, you can use it as a shovel, and a sword all in one. So if you can see, like that, oh yeah, it's fantastic. We can come over here, and we could mine up this. Look at that, it's brilliant. I love it. Um, it has... 1600 usage durability and it'll also do four hearts of damage so yeah that's pretty funky now you can also upgrade this to the tier 2 so the tier 2 has uh, the same mining speed as diamond the same digging speed as diamond and has a durability of 1600 and it does 5.5 hearts of damage which is pretty damn special uh, but it also has a few different uses which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is bring up my inventory and we're going to go up, hang on. We're going to grab ourselves, uh, let's see now, a cow and some nether wart. Where is the nether wart? There it is. So let's get a stack of that. Whoops. Not one of those. One of those. There we go. 64. Not an infant one. So what you can do is spawn in a cow and right click it and it'll pick him up <laughs> it's kind of glitchy he does say in the forum that it's kind of glitchy but you're supposed to be able to pick him up and then throw him with another right click oh god poor cow go go cow go <laughs> oh my god yeah so as you can see it is oh i think i've still got him there go on go freedom no i've still got hold of him yeah just die right there we go okay yeah as you can see it <laughs> it's a little bit glitchy, but that's kind of fun. I like that. That's, that's bloody good. So, that was the tier 2. Let's put that back in there. And of course, that needs nether wart to, uh, to use it. Uh, right, so on to the tier 3. So let's grab the tier 3 gauntlet. And we're also going to need uh, some gunpowder. Where is gunpowder? You know what? I can just search here, can't I? Silly me. 64 gunpowder. And we're going to go for cows again. And we're going to get some cows. Okay, so, as you can imagine, uh, this one has the same properties as gold. So it's quite, it's it's faster than the other one. So let's, yeah, as you can see. I mean, it's always fast digging dirt anyway. What are we on about? But we can mine that pretty quick. So there you go, that's pretty good. This will do seven hearts of damage when you hit something with it. And again, this has the special ability of being able to pick things up. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is it uses a durability. So when you pick up a creature, uh, it'll use a durability for that. But again, you can heal things up with the flowers once that's been re-implemented. The other cool thing about the tier 3 one is you can do some explosive punches. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? Have I still got some nether wart? Yeah. Is that... Come on, pick him up. It's kind of throwing him. Okay, he's... Yeah, let's kill him off. Anyway, what we could do is do some digging. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that <laughs> that killed my frame rate. But if you have some uh, gunpowder, what you can do is right click on, uh, say, this stone here. So wait for the lag. Ah, no. Yeah, it's. Right, let's get into creative mode. Oh, God. Right, there we go. Up, 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 up. Yeah, it's pretty goddamn powerful. I would suggest that he tones that back a bit, just a little bit. Now, what this actually does is, as you can see, it's not touched the ores, but it's destroyed everything else. And that's basically what it does. It's a super mining tool, basically. It will does a lot of damage, but it won't damage ores. So then you can quite happily just go mine them out as you normally would, like so. Fantastic. Right, so that's the uh, the gauntlets which are called Ascendant Gauntlets. So there we go, let's get them in there. We'll put all these over there, out of the way. So now we're going to check out the armors that you can make. So it's all made out of adamantium, of 
course, but it's all upgradable. So you've got base, the base uh, equipment, which is like this, and then you've got three tiers on each item. So that's what we're going to do. So, as you'd expect, the recipe is the same as you'd expect it to be to make a helm. So there's your helm. Doesn't do anything special, but it is as strong as diamond. Um, sorry, I should say the protection is the same as diamond, and its durability is a little bit more than than diamond. So let's have a look at this. Let's close that so you don't get distracted. So here's the tier one. Uh, basically, you need the base helmet plus uh, one of the Imperium Paragon. Paragon. <laughs> My pronunciation is terrible. Okay. Uh, raw fish, so you surround that with raw, raw fish, and this will give you, uh, again, it's got the same protection as diamond, this a little bit more durability, and this will allow you to breathe underwater, so that's that special ability of that one. And then you can upgrade this to the tier 2, whoops, there we go, which is in here, and the tier 2 uh, will inherit the previous tier. So it has the same ability. It's, it's, again, it's the same diamond, slightly more durability. You can breathe underwater, but you're, you can also climb up walls like a spider, hence the spider eyes. So that's how that works. And yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I like that. And of course, it requires the tier 1 helm to make. And then you go on to the tier 3, which uses the previous tier helm and golden apples. Again, this will inherit the the attributes of the previous ones, so again it's uh, the same protection of diamond, it's got the same durability, but you can also breathe underwater, climb up walls, and this one uh, will heal you uh, half of a heart every five seconds, hence the golden apples. So yeah, that's really nice, I like that. Okay, let's go on to the adamantium chest plate. Oh, this, this one's good, you're gonna like this one. So again, the same as before, uh, it's got the same protection as diamond, but uh, slightly more durability. Don't forget these are all repairable with the flowers once that's been re-implemented. Uh, so the tier 1 upgrade is feathers. So you just use feathers and one of the Imperium Paragons. <coughs> and this will give you a special ability. So that uh, if you fall off a, off a mountain or whatever, uh, you can hit the spacebar and glide down to the ground quite safely. So that's a nice little uh, feature of the tier 1 stuff. Then tier 2 tier two uses blaze power, powder, power, blaze powder, and uh, that inherits the previous tier and that will give you again uh, same protection of diamond, same durability, you, you get it, you get it, it's the same as diamond basically with a bit more durability. Uh, you'll be able to do the slow fall with the spacebar and the ability of this one on tier 2 is that uh, any mobs that come close to you in a 4 block radius will basically burst into flames. <laughs> Which is quite evil. <laughs> Reminds me of another set of RAM, I can't remember what mod it was from. Uh, it might have been uh, the Iron Man one? I think the Iron Man one did something similar to that. Okay, so the tier 3, again it's just an upgrade of the previous one and this needs gas tiers for the, for this upgrade and that will give you the ability to fly with double tap and uh, that also uses as a downside uh, one durability uh, per second so the durability of this thing can run out pretty damn fast uh, but again you know the flowers are gonna uh, have an important role in this mod okay so Adamantium leggings is the next thing to look at. Again, uh, same protection of diamond, but a little bit more durability. And the tier one, tier one will speed you up. So it'll speed you up 1.5 times normal than normal, uh, and that needs sugar, <laughs> which is kind of funny because sugar gives you energy, doesn't it? So that's how that one works. Uh, and then tier two, you need ender pearls, and that'll give you two times the speed and then tier 3 gives you 2.5 times the speed and that needs uh, glycerin melon for that upgrade and then we're on to the boots the adamantium boots so as you'd expect like the rest it's the same uh, protection as diamond and durability is slightly more as usual 
And there we go. And then onto the tier one, uh, which is recipes like this with the bones and the previous uh, adamantium boots. And this has uh, basically uh, a double jump, which we're going to try, and uh, it reduces the fall damage by 25%. So, let's put these on. Uh, come on now. What's going on here? That should be it. There it is. So let's put these on. Uh, like in the last video, I couldn't figure out how to get this to work, but should be... Yeah, there we go. See how that's? So you jump, jump again while you're in the air, and you do like a double jump. There we go. So that's good. That's the tier one. Uh, let's put... Oh, there's still an inventory. Bloody hell. Right, there they are. Let's put those back in there. And then the tier two uh, uses slime balls. And the previous tier, which would give you um, half fall damage and a triple jump. So let's give this one a go as well, just for fun. And we go one, two, three. Yay! And... Oops, I did it again. Uh, you only get half fall damage from that one. And... Last but not least, the tier 3 um, reduces your fall damage 100% and you do quadruple the jump, so you jump four times as high. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try on all the different pieces of armour. Here we go. So what we should get is some funky stuff going on. Okay, so with the boots we can jump like that. And with the leggings, we can run really fast. And if we do a double jump, we can fly. And if we just jump into the water, we'll, we'll swim. Oh, we should get the gauntlet as well and blow some stuff up. <laughs> uh, where is it? Gunpowder. Oh, yeah. Oops, wrong one. Let's get down there. Uh. <laughs> Whee! That's one way into the water. And as you can see, there's no bubbles. No bubbles on my hotbar, you know, just to show your, your breath. So there we go. Let's get back up here and we'll do a... Oh my god, I've, I've blown a huge hole. Oops. Good job we finished the video, isn't it? <laughs> and F5 mode so you can have a look at the armour. There we go. Lovely, looking glorious there. So... Check out the mod, it's one of my favourites, I really like this. Um, some people might think it's a little bit overpowered, but you know what? If you work towards it, I think you know it's fair enough. And uh, not everything has like a huge benefit. Oh, let's try the glide as well, there's the glide. I forgot to show that one before. Yeah, we can glide. Uh, yeah, so I, I think it's it's not too bad. It's, it's got a bit of balance with, you know, using up... Um, durability with some of these uh, maneuvers so I don't think it's that bad at all uh, yeah so if you liked the video remember to like it favorite it and share it and we'll catch you next time bye